John Rahm enters the 2022 golf season as the number one player in the world. He's won four times and has notched 19 top 10 finishes over the last two years, even with COVID-19 taking him out of the memorial last season. His play and those obstacles became a microcosm for the challenges golf has weathered over the last two years. So will we be in for a more traditional golf season in 2022? Let's break down all the changes on tour as the season gears up. How would that work? First, the schedule. There will be some familiarity to the major championship schedule in 2022. We will have the Masters in early April in its normal spot. The PGA Championship returns to its May slot for the third time over the last four years. The U.S. Open comes back in June, and St. Andrews hosts the Open Championship in July. In an interesting change, the Farmers Insurance Open will have a Saturday finish. The PGA Tour will look to avoid the NFL as the NFC and AFC Championship games are set to be played on January 30th, moving the final round of the Farmers to Saturday the 29th. The NFL will also impact the Waste Management Phoenix Open. That raucous tournament at TPC Scottsdale is traditionally played during Super Bowl week. So to accommodate a longer NFL season, it has been pushed back, switching spots in the calendar with the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Next, prize money is going way up. Patrick Cantlay won $15 million by taking the FedEx Cup Championship last September. But in 2022, the FedEx prize pool jumps from $60 million to $75 million, with the winner now taking home 18 mil, a record sum. Also, bonuses for finishing in the top 10 will now reach $20 million, and every player who makes at least 15 starts will earn $50,000 as part of the Play 15 program. And finally, some first-time additions. The 2022 BMW Championship will be the first PGA Tour event played in the state of Delaware. The Wilmington Country Club's South Course will host professional golf in the state for the first time since the LPGA Tour played there in 2004. Also, the PGA Tour is co-sanctioning an event with the DP World Tour, formerly the European Tour, for the very first time. The Scottish Open will feature a field split between both tours and players will earn points for each respective playoffs in this reformatted event. But even with those changes to the season, changes on the course are coming as well. Driver length is now limited to 46 inches. Green books are being changed to be less complex and amateur status is being altered in the age of NIL. So it's the dawn of a new day for golf in 2022. And that's how it would work.